Washington to go to like so there's a lot of these videos that's popping up like that's talking about they left the United States and why they're not coming back like literally I share the same sentiment as the people that are also doing these videos I've never felt so safe as a black man but my future my destiny in the hands of other people never sat well with me what's good YouTube today is Thursday July 11th 2024 and I want to talk about today why I'm never living in the United States again. I'm always filming, so I have footage and I had already filmed this video and I'm just gonna let you guys watch that video today. This is episode 10, why I will never live in the United States again after living in Colombia for two years. Check it out, peace. place that I eat cereal it's when I'm in the United States I couldn't be saying this if I was from other countries that didn't allow you to speak poorly about your country so I do appreciate some of those aspects of America but at the same time it's not just the cost of living and the cost of food so there's a lot of these videos that's popping up like that's talking about they left the United States and why they're not coming back. Um, and here's another one, like it's just all over my feed. 2022 in July was when I first got uh, my first condo uh, in Boca Grande on the beach. And um, man, two years has showed me so much of the difference between living in the United States for the majority of my life and then living in Colombia just the past two years. I would say that that experience since 2022 has actually added on years of my life as far as like the things that I believe that add years on your life is the less stress that you have, the your intake, your food, what you eat, um, peace, you know, just a, a, a non-worrisome life um, that you can have outside of the United States. Um, these things have just made me not want to come back to the United States, especially permanently. Um, the cost of living, of course. Uh, I'm really, really trying to find a way just in case I'm not able to raise money for my company. And that's where we're at right now. So, like, I have not gotten any investment check for All Dreams. And... just in case that never happens and we're never able to get this this platform built uh i still want to live in colombia so like we could just start off with like the top three reasons that i'm never moving back to the united states um i would say one for me is after two years in colombia um my Peace of mind, I can tell the complete difference from when I'm in the United States, from when I'm in Colombia, and my stress levels just are so low being in Colombia, and that is due to, like, the safety. That's due to um, less intake of pop culture. The only thing that I, I don't watch TV when I'm in Colombia, um, I don't... I don't 
consume my phone as much as I do when I'm in the United States. When I'm in the United States, I'm always on Instagram. I'm always on YouTube. Um, the only TV that I watch when I'm in Colombia is like sports. So uh, I'll go to a bar or something to watch like thing like not all sports games, but like important sports games, NBA Finals, um, Super Bowl, things like that. Um, but number one is my stress levels are just so low. Um, safety, all of these things that just make me so comfortable while being in Colombia. I just feel like I've never felt so safe as a black man nowhere that I've been, whether, you know, especially like in the United States, living in Atlanta, uh, living in Buffalo, living in um, Rock Hill, South Carolina, also living in uh, Florida. Um, is that all the places that I've lived in the United States? I believe so. But uh, just the safety that I feel as a black man, I have never felt that before. And not having to watch over my back. And it's the things, you know, like going out to to a bar, not having to worry about any type of friction or getting shot or stepping on somebody's shoes. These things really, really matter. You know, like um, the friendly culture. I guess, you know, I was telling my friend, like, it just being in the States, people just seem so cold to me. You know, like last week when I was in Atlanta, it's just like, I mean, no one says hello. The only time you really interact with people is in a controlled environment. So I went to an event. So that event was for people to talk to each other. But outside of that event, I don't think you even really talk to any of these people. You know, they'll probably just walk right past you and, you know, just on a regular day. But the only way to really have human interaction is when people think they're going to get something, whether um, it's networking. So, hey, who are you? You know, what can you do for me? Um, seems like that's the only time that people are really like interacting or or even nice to be honest with you um in colombia is like every single day people are saying hello and people are nice um not for not per se like full conversations but i mean just uh, buen dia uh, como esta like how are you you know good morning how are you I mean, it just sets your day off a little bit better than you see someone and you guys just walk past each other and don't don't even acknowledge uh, one another. Um, so just that whole that's number, you know, probably the first thing for me is just like. Being comfortable, being safe and um, people interaction uh I would say the second would be like the cost of living. Um, man, I just, I don't think I'm ever even be able to live in the States anymore. Um, money wise is just way too expensive for me. Um, especially, you know, me, I was, you know, what I was, you know, what I've been doing uh, is, is working to build all dreams. And, um, man, I invested all of the money that I had into all dreams and it is no money left <laughs> of that investment. And, um, I'm so worried right now because if no one, if I don't get a check for all dreams, I don't even know what I'm going to to do uh, I probably will lose all of the money that I have already invested cost of living in the United States versus Colombia I just can't afford the United States like I just can't afford it I can't afford two thousand dollars a month um, I can't afford uh, to get a car payment 
Um, nor do I want to. <laughs> nor do I, you know, nor nor do I want to. The, the things that I once yearned to have and the things that I have had, right? Um, I just don't want them anymore. I don't want a high-rise condo. I don't want um, a luxury car. Um, I don't want jewelry. I don't want an a massive uh, sneaker collection. I don't want any of those things anymore. Um, I'm very, very fine with living in my small apartment in Columbia and having my office and my content creation studio. Um, that's great for me. That's like perfect for me. But again, if I don't get all dreams funded, venture fund funded, or if I don't get any in any of these accelerators, uh, I'm going to have to figure out what's the next move, how I can either continue to try to piece it together and build a platform, or do I just do YouTube? Um, and what that looks like, I'm not sure. The last reason that I will never live in the United States full time again is um, the health. You know, um, I'm 44 years old and my health is so, so important. Um, throughout my life, I have been often, because I'm an, I'm, I'm an athlete, I've been off and on with healthy eating and you know, as a kid, I probably ate so much junk, you know, um, but being active kind of mitigated some of that, I'm hoping, right? Um, but I particularly, I don't have the discipline to be around snacks and be around those things and actually not partake in them. So when I'm in Colombia, I pretty much like, like I have uh, Miss Anides that cooks my food for me or on the weekends I go out to eat and um, it's mostly beef but it's it's more healthy than anything that I would eat here and I can literally feel I can feel it like I can feel my health being in the States for two months more deterior deteriorating rather than being in Colombia, um, I can just feel the difference in my body. I can feel me being, having mucus. Um, while I'm in the United States, I don't have that at all when I'm in Colombia. Um, I work out five times a week when I'm in Colombia. The sun is just so 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 important for me in my life i need the sun in my life so high percentage 90 percent of days in colombia is sunny and even if it's not that one percent or that ten percent when it's when it's not sunny um somehow the sun will peek through um health wise also like having access to that to the beach that just helps me it helps my spirit Part of the reason I'm in the United States is because, first off, I'm trying to get into an accelerator for all dreams. Um, right now, still in the running for Tech Stars, uh, Go Big Fun, and um, Black Ambition. Um, I don't have any expectations for any of these accelerators. I, I, I like. I believe my company can be something really, really special and really big. Um, However, I'm not sure if anyone will actually give me the, the chance to do it. I'm not the typical founder, you know, that I see that's on Techstars. I'm not that. Um, when I see these founders on Techstars, they have these, you know, these trumped up resumes and they have these, um, uh, these, these teams that, you know, also have trumped up resumes. Man, I'm just a guy I'm an athlete uh from Buffalo New York and part of the thing that really um makes me like nervous or that makes me 
think that I may not get in is because of my past record. And I've never seen a founder that people are invested in that that's went to prison. Um, I've never seen, you know, like they do these things, this thing called due diligence. And um, I, 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 I'm not sure if I will ever get past due diligence, you know. And all of that shit is just, you know, it's, it's political. Um, and these, you know, these are just my, you know, the thoughts that just from the top, you know, from from the top of my head, just how, you know, society is today. Um, everything is just such a surface level thing. And for anyone to give me the opportunity, they will have to dig deep into me. Because first off, I'm just not going to tell you everything through a 30 minute conversation or through an hour conversation. I need to really get to know people in order to, to trust them with my story. I'm not sure, you know, would anybody even want to really get to know me personally, you know, get to know me and my journey, you know? This 18 years of entrepreneurship or, you know, my thoughts is of, you know, and my journey of being an athlete and um, going for the things that I've always dreamed of. In the startup world, they want you to get rejected 300 times and they want you to chase these you know, these VCs and chase these angel investors and rejection is like a badge of honor and you reject, you get rejected until one person says yes. And then all of a sudden people, um, want to get on board when one person says yes. And I just don't know at my age and where I'm at mentally, I just don't know if that is something that I even want to do. You know, I want to build all dreams, of course, like, but my future, my destiny in the hands of other people never sat well with me. Um, especially when they're just looking at a pitch deck and not talking to you and understanding what you, you, what me what I can be as a, as a founder, what are, you know, what's my connection to all dreams, why I made it, um, why I believe it can be successful outside of the idea, outside of the concept, right? Because a lot of that shit is grit, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's anything that's new ideas where, oh, yo, this is just the newest idea and nobody is doing it, so that means it's going to be something it doesn't, you know, I'm just, like it's a lot of different things that line up. You got to think about it. Just say Mark Zuckerberg was not at Harvard, Harvard and he was at LSU. Does Facebook get made? Maybe not. Or let's just say Mark Zuckerberg wasn't at Harvard and he was at Erie Community College up here in, uh, in Buffalo. Does Facebook get made? I don't know because he doesn't have the connections. It's not the same alignment, right? So a lot of that plays a, a part. And when people say, hey, work hard and do all these things, a lot of everything is about alignment. So I always question like me being from the east side of Buffalo, not having the resources. And this is why it's always important, like where you come from and these things, these are why these things are important and why certain people don't get resources. Right. I just don't know if I align with that startup world as brilliant as all dreams can be as much money as it can make as much as many athletes as it will help around the world um, as much as I am the person to pull it off I'm not sure if I'll ever get that opportunity to do that you know um, and I also have to figure I also have to think about that I am a father of three daughters and what am I going to do in order to make a living to be able to take care of myself and my three daughters 
and my wife once i have you know once i have a wife i have to think about these things um it's you know and i don't want my destiny and venture capitalist hands and shit i i don't want to do none of that stuff <laughs> you know you understand what i'm saying that's why i've never that's why i've always like invested into myself i've always invested into anything that i was i was doing with my own money because i'm just not with that thing of begging anyone for anything yeah i just don't like it i you know i just don't like having my destiny in other people's hands and right now it's like yo i'm in new york waiting on tech stars and i've like accelerator tech stars accelerator waiting for black ambition accelerator waiting for some other accelerators and it's like i don't like it you know i, I like I, I don't like it if i could do it with if i could build it the way i need to build it without them like i wouldn't be here i would just be building what i was building in you know in columbia